Hello, and welcome to another tutorial by Charles Ack. In this video, I'm going to show you a more in-depth way to port forward on your Minecraft server. So, there are three main ways to port forward. Well, that are popular, I guess. Um, the first one is, of course, Hamachi. Uh, I don't want to do a tutorial on that one because I personally do not like Hamachi. The second one, probably in the middle of easiness, is poor map and this is a unique program only for mac that um... that is just a customizable port mapping system that you can turn on and off whenever you want which is pretty nice but the thing about this is some routers are incompatible with it so up here it, it may not work which is kind of a pain but there are luckily there are other ways to port forward which are somewhat semi easy i guess so let's get started. First, I'll um, talk about the port map. So this is what. It, oh, oops. Okay, I know this website looks kind of spammy because like all these um, advertisements, but it, um, don't worry, it's pretty, it's safe. Well, I, I I hope so. Okay, so what you want to do to download port map is just click this download. Don't click this one or this one because those are probably viruses. And yeah. Just click this one, and then it'll bring you to this page. You want to hit Softpedia Secure Download, and it'll just download this zip file like this. But I have it downloaded, so um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. See, it's just going to open after that. Yeah, it looks like that, and then you just open it. You can put it in your applications folder or whatever. Put it on your desktop. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. So once that downloads, you open it, and it's going to start like loading and stuff, like that it's gonna be like searching and then if it says router compatible then you can this is not a program for you but if you have like links or netgear I'm I'm pretty sure it works but I know twire doesn't or uverse whatever you want to call it um yeah so now that you have this open what you want to do is you want to go to add a server and then you want to type in for local port is the standard port, which is 25565. Otherwise, they'll have to type in a colon when they try want to join your server with that uh, local port that you changed. So I would just put it 25565 because that's when it gets confusing. And then you want to make a TCP. And then you can just put like a description, which is what the name of it shows up on this list. See, like I made mine Minecraft. It just helps you organize it better. So you want to. Um, yeah, just leave the description, huh? Make it like Minecraft. But I don't I don't need to do that. And then this last one is what I will get to in a minute. So I should leave that. Okay. The next thing the next way you you can do it is you can go to this website. This is just your router's preferences. Um and the way to get there if you have broadband, I'm pretty sure, is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. And then it'll open your like website for your um, router, and you have to be connected to that Wi-Fi network for it to open. Um, <coughs> I know, like, if you, I know maybe some some routers might be um, one dot one nine two dot one I mean dot zero dot one, but um, this the standard one is one dot one. It, like it could be o one or one one. Uh, it ver pretty much varies per router. So. Um, I have links, so it's just gonna open this. And the first time you um try to go on, it's gonna ask you for like a um password and stuff. And you want to get to this by um under your router. It should have like a network key and stuff. And you just want to type that in. Um, I'm not sure for Netgear, but um it's pretty similar and easy. I think a link to Netgear are probably the easiest to port for it off of. I've done it off of um two wire two. So if you have any questions, put them in the, put them into the description if you are. Two wire or net or links or net gear, and I'll be glad to help. So next, you want to go. This is really simple. All you do is you go to applications and games, and then you want to add. You just fill this out. So um, you like type in Minecraft. So you have have it on here already, and then you just leave this. All you have to do is just put two five five six five for the external and internal report, and then this last part is where it gets kind of confusing. I mean. It's not that bad. All you do is you want to go to your network preferences um, by going up here and going to the system preferences and then wait for it to load. 
and then go to network and then it's gonna then go to advanced maybe a little bit different if you have lion but I think I'm pretty sure I've done it online too so if you have if you need any help again ask me in the comments and I'll be glad to help um okay so I have to go to this and see this is what my IP address looks like this is just see it's just like what I put up here 192.168.1.1 but this is the computer that I'm off of, and the number of that is a 101. See? So that's what you want to put in here, 101. I'm not sure if it's the same for everybody if it's, or if it's different, but for me, that's how it is. And so yeah, once you have, once you got that, then you just type it in there, and then you're good to go. You want to hit Save Settings, and then you want... Okay, and then... Um, I'm not sure if you have to do this or not, but um, um, I know some people who do this. You have to disable your firewall. Um, I'm actually not sure if you have to do this or not. You might just have to uncheck all these boxes and hit save settings. But for me, um, I haven't enabled, so I'm not sure if that's a requirement or not. I've heard some people say it is, but um, I would just un just for safety, I'll just go ahead and uh, I mean, <laughs> well, that's kind of ironic because this is security, but just to be um, cautious. I would uncheck all these and hit save to so make sure. Um, so yeah, now you have your application. Now you have your port forwarding set up on this router. So the next thing you want to do, well, you don't have to do this. This is optional. Is you can go to noip.com, and what this does is it make it gives you a um, domain name for for people to join your um, join your server. It's like instead of having like a number sequence, it'll just be like. For mine, it's like charlesac.servegame.com, so um, which is pretty cool, and it's completely free. All you have to do is so once you're logged in, it will sh show up to a page like this. And um, please note that like sometimes like the logging in is a little bit buggy. I think it just changed your passwords like randomly or something because it just I've had to like recover my password twice because of it. It's, it's weird. So what you want to do now is you want to add a host, and it will come to this page. I have three hosts right now, so I can't do anything. So I'll have to delete this one real quick. Oh, yeah, click was kind of an understatement. <sighs> That's center moving. Well. I mean, you probably won't have that um, problem if you've never done this before. <coughs> so now, this is where you set up your host name. And um, it's just like a username. Uh, you can't take one, um, a host name that's al already been taken. So I can do like, blah, YouTube. And then... You, you can choose out of all their free domains. Um, if you're doing um, a server, it's really matter what you do. But I just like doing serve game because it it's kind of goes with this theme. And then under the IP address, um, you would put just your the IP that shows up right here. And yeah, and that's all you have to do for that. And then hit create host and then bam there it is okay and if you're using port forward and you wanna use no IP what you do is when um, is when you make a new uh, one of these under the reference string you would put the name of your host so I'll do like blah you you poo but tube Whatever that says, you poo. <laughs> I failed at typing that. Blah. You put you be put tube. Dot. Serve. Yeah, you do that, and it'll start port for and off of that. The only problem is like, um, your IP will change periodically, so you will have to keep checking on that. But if, yeah. But but another thing you can do to avoid that problem is you can um, download this 
by you have to download the client and then yeah just hit mac and it will just it, it's a pretty um it has like a installation progress it's not like port map and then it will show up something like this and you're going you're going to want to go to like your system preferences and then let it load uh log in you might have to uncheck this box Okay, and then you want to go to host. You're gonna have to log in, and just click on that battle one that on there. And then what this does is it checks your IP periodically to make sure it hasn't changed. And um, this will work with port map and your um, and your router's preferences as long as you have to make sure this. This is what happened to me before, and I, I didn't know why it wasn't working. Uh, where is it? Okay, under settings, you have to make sure it's remote IP retrieved by server, not local IP on this computer. That does not work. It makes it like, it makes it the 192.168.1.101. Well, in my case, it does. So, yeah. You have to make sure it's on remote, IT, on remote IP, and then it should be working. Well, yep, that's basically it. If you have any questions... Um, put them in the comments below, and please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, if this was helpful, then let me know. <laughs> Thanks.